Welcome to Kerbal Space Program, everyone, and prepare to be amazed. I have constructed here, out of a number of grabbers and reaction wheels, something of an interesting new tool. To demonstrate, I have hacked gravity, and I'm going to use control group 1 to open all the arms, and 2 to decouple a whole bunch of small docking nodes. As you can see, all these claws are stacking on each other. And I'm just going to start freeing all their pivots. And now, we have an arm. can reach around and grab stuff with this. I don't have anything right here to grab, but I imagine there's some kind of... Oh, uh, yeah, I can grab the tower with it. <laughs> Let's uh, let go of that. Release. Of course, I can unhack gravity. It still works somewhat, but it gets a little out of control. And it has a difficult time working against gravity. You can see it's, it's struggling quite a bit. You can make it as long as you want it. I have not yet actually tried putting one in space. I'm not sure exactly how to design a craft that could carry it properly. I think this is a fairly good test. Now obviously I'd want to get rid of this tower. But it works quite well. Just moving around. I think the, you know, the, the main attraction here would be to grab asteroids with it. As you could just put a spaceship really close to some asteroids, reach out, grab one. It could also be used to tie a bunch of asteroids together. Since it's so flexible, you wouldn't have to worry about a very complex grouping of asteroids being torn apart so much. Oh, there we go. Swing it right up. And of course, I can lock any of these pivots to exert some control on it. Which means I could use it to link two things together, then freeze the arm. Of course, if I just unlock one at a time, then I can have fairly fine control. Lock it. Lock. Let's see, unlock this one. And I was just an elbow joint. So there, there's my proof of concept for a space arm. Which is fairly interesting and unique new ability with these grabbers. Seeing as previously, really the only way you could move two independent parts of a ship was to have them essentially completely undocked from each other into two ships and move them around, whereas this allows me to have 
a full arm with all these pivots. The difficult part is just lining them up and getting them to all dock together to start with. And I'm not sure how well it'll work in space, but can't wait to find out. Anyway, that's all for now. Have fun.